Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Precious Ugweze and um, in this video we'll quickly look at um, a second example on uh, quadratic equations. If you watch the previous video, I took time to do the explanation of what a quadratic equation is. The Now I'm drawing it down from polynomials and from there we saw the three methods of solving the quadratic equation except the graphical method okay and so the three methods are what we have here the factorization the completing square method and the quadratic formula method okay so i'm we're able to do an example and in that example they we found out that the coefficient of x squared that is our a is equal to one and so we said that we are going to do another example where the coefficient is not one and that's what we have here so quickly we are going to start all right solution okay so i'm going to begin with um, the first method which is factorization so here we have 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 equal to zero and so to be able to solve this by factorization, you remember what we said, that we should multiply our C, which is minus 10, by our A. And when we do that, we are going to get minus 60. And so now we are looking for um, two numbers or two factors of minus 60 that when we multiply, sorry, when we add, we will get uh, 11 plus 11. And if you check carefully, you see that those two factors are um, 15. That's positive 15 and negative 4. So you will see that uh, if you multiply these two, you get minus 60. And if you sum these two, you will get uh, 11. And so you remember what we said, that you should take these two, just attach x to the both of them, and then use it to replace what you have here and uh, it will still be the same equation okay so let's quickly do that so we have 6x squared plus 15x minus 4x minus 10 equal to zero and someone would ask would there be any difference if i you know choose to write minus 4x before 15x and the answer is no you will definitely get the same solution Okay, if you follow the process accurately. All right, so quickly, we are going to now continue. So here we are going to have, so remember what I said, at the point of where you have done this, the next thing is now to take this into two brackets. And when you have a negative sign here, it is good to put your bracket in front of that minus sign. Okay, and so here we are going to have that this is going to give us now so we are factorizing these two brackets so in this bracket what do i have come on here now i have three can divide six and divide 15 and then um, there is x that can divide x squared and also divide x so the highest common factor for those two is um three x sorry this is three not five so that's going to be three x and so when you bring out 3x, you open up your bracket, um, and that is going to give us, um, so here we'll have 2x left, 2x plus, um, and so the other one will give us only 5, okay? And then after, after doing that, the next uh, is going to be, then what is the common uh, factor here? There is a minus 2 can divide minus 4 and also divide minus 10. And I think that's also, we bring out minus 2. And when it goes into minus 4x, you are going to have 2x. And when it goes into minus 10, you will have plus 5. And that is equal to 0. And so you can see that immediately we now have exactly what we got uh, in our, that previous example here. There is a, a common bracket. And remember I said that one of the ways you will know you have done it correctly is that you will find this common bracket. And so you are now going to do the next factorization. So by bringing out the common bracket and then gathering what you have outside. And that's going to give us 2x 
plus 5 and then here we'll be left with 3x and here we'll be left with minus 2 okay and this is equal to 0 and now that we have this equation to be equal sorry these two brackets to be equal to 0 remember sorry this thing should be implies that we shouldn't have two equality signs in an equation and so now remember what we said that uh, if a b is equal to zero it is either a is zero or b is zero or both and so we are going to apply that here now and that is going to give us so this implies now that 2x plus 5 is equal to zero or 3x minus 2 is equal to zero <clears throat> And from here, you will have that uh, um, 2x is equal to minus 5 or 3x is equal to positive 2. And so we have that our x is equal to minus 5 all over 2 or 2 all over 3. And uh, this is the required solution for this problem by factorization. And so the next one, we are going to see how to solve this by, um, okay, by another method. In this case, we are going to look at the second method, which is uh, the method of completing the square. Okay, so we'll bring down the same question, which is uh, 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 equal to 0. Okay, so what are we going to do in this case? So remember the steps of completing the square. Um, the first step is that uh, we should take the constant C here to the right-hand side. And that's going to give us 6x squared plus 11x is equal to 10. And then the next step is that we should make the coefficient of x squared to be 1. And that means we should divide through by the coefficient of x squared. So we are dividing everything here by 6. And when we do that, of course, uh, 6 will take away 6 here. And then here uh, you will have 5 and here you will have 3. So nothing can cancel here. So we'll leave it that way and then write down what we have left. So we have x squared plus 11 over 6x. And uh, this is equal to 5 all over 3. Um, the next step says we should add to both sides of the equation the square of the half of the coefficient of x. Okay, and in this case, the coefficient of x is this. Okay, so we are now going to find the half of that first. So the half of that means divide by 2. And when you divide by 2, that means you're multiplying by 1 over 2. And uh, that is going to give you 11 over 12. Okay, so we are going to add to both sides uh, the square of this. Okay, and so that's going to give us x squared plus 11 over 6x plus 11 over 12 all squared. And that is equal to 5 over 3 plus 11 over 12 all squared. Okay, so the next thing is that we should gather the squares on the left hand side. And when we do that, we are going to have x plus 11 over 12 all squared. Um, and that is equal to 5 over 3, you know, plus we open this one and that is going to give us 1, 2, 1, all over 1, 4, 4. Okay, and uh, at this point, we are now going to, you know, um, take the square root first of all before doing that uh, we should uh, try to simplify this fraction on the right hand side and so we are going to have um, x plus uh, 11 over 12 all squared and that's going to be so we take lcm okay that is going to give us um 361 361 all over 144 okay and uh, at this point now we can then take the square root of both sides and when we do that here is going to give us 11 all over 12 is equal to the square root of uh, 361 all over 144 
and the square root of uh, this is going to quickly give us uh, we're going to have the square root of 361 is 19 all over 12 okay so at this and that's the square root of 144 and so at this point we can take this over to this side and we will have that x is equal to minus 11 over 12 plus or minus 19 over 12 and uh, that means that our x is going to be equal to our x will now be equal to at this point we can choose to um, separate this and we'll have minus 11 over 12 plus 19 over 12 or minus 11 over 12 minus 19 over 12 and so this is going to give us um, um, at this point we are going to have uh, Okay, minus 11 plus 19 is going to give us 8. Okay, so we have 8 over 12 here. Or minus 11 minus 19 is going to give us uh, minus 30. And so here we have minus 30 over 12. And so our final answer for x is simply equal to... Um, here, this is going to give us... Uh, um, if we divide by 4, we'll have 2 all over 3. Or um, this one, we divide by 6, we'll have minus 5 all over 2. Um, and that is similar to the initial answer we got uh, during factorization. So these two answers are the same. Okay. And so at this point, we're now going to look at uh, the third method, which is the formula method that's the quadratic formula method and we are also using the same example 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 equal to 0 so we state our formula to be equal to minus b plus minus of b squared sorry minus b squared even though that they are the same sorry it should be b squared not minus b squared b squared then minus 4ac all over 2a so in this case our a is simply 6 our b let me write that down our a is 6 and so we are going to have that um, our x is going to be equal to minus 11 plus or minus to the square root of 11 squared minus 4 into bracket a is 6 times minus 10 okay um and that is all over 2 times 6 okay so at this point what do we have we have minus 11 plus or minus the square root of 1 2 1 minus 6 times minus 10 is minus 60 minus 60 times uh, minus 4 will give us plus 240 and uh, that is all over 12 so you will quickly see that uh, this is going to give us um, minus 11 plus or minus the square root of, uh, okay, let me quickly do that. The square root of, if you add um, uh, 1 to 1 to 240, you will have 361, just as we got in the previous example. And the square root of 361, we got to be 19. And that is all over 12. And at this point, you can split this to actually give you minus 11 plus 19 over 12 or minus 11 minus 19 over 12, which is exactly what we got at some point in the completing square method. And that is 8 over 12 or minus 30 over 12, which is equal to um, 2 all over 3 or minus 5 all over 2. And so you can see that all three methods have also given us the same solution for this particular problem. So you see that uh, that's the beauty of uh, mathematics. The three methods or even the four of them, if you do graphic uh, approach, you still get the same answer. Okay, that's all I have for us in this video. Uh, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel comment 
like and share our video see you in our next video bye